Hey, what's up, guys? Miguel here from Toy Quest 101, and on this episode of that Geek Statue Show, we're gonna be unboxing the Masters of the Universe, Tila Maquette from Tweeterhead, and that episode is gonna start right now. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Miguel here as always and welcome to another episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Now, like I mentioned before on today's episode, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Masters of the Universe, Tila Maquette from Tweeterhead. Now, before we start, we want to remind you guys, subscribe to Toy Quest 101 and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any toy reviews statue unboxings or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now, if you joined us a couple weeks ago, you know that we unboxed and reviewed the Merman maquette from Tweeterhead, and that statue just blew me away with the amount of details, the price of the statue, and I promised you guys that I'm gonna be doing another one from that line, and here we are today with the Tila maquette from Tweeterhead. Now, I'm pumped up because Tila is a very popular character in Masters of the Universe, and a lot of collectors love her, and this is a gorgeous piece that I I cannot wait to unbox and review but as always let's start with the box take a look at this box a gorgeous box i love this picture box full of colors now in the front you're gonna see tila very close and personal and you're gonna see that portrait look stunning with her eyes and on the back you're gonna see a closer look at the entire statue itself but the box is really really nice full of colors here and it just gets me really excited to unbox it so without further ado let's get to unboxing it What's up guys, welcome back. And as you can see, Tila is out of the box and on the turntable. And I do have to say that my first impression, she just blew me out of the water. Now I absolutely love this statue, the concept and design, the first impression out of the box. I thought it looked really, really good. Just like I did with Merman, when I first unboxed him, I was really impressed right out the gate uh, because the concept and design looked really good and she looks absolutely gorgeous. So let's jump right into it because I am a little excited for this piece. Now, this is the basic Tila from that maquette line uh, of the Masters of the Universe line. They have three different versions. They have the basic one, which we have here today. They have the exclusive and they have the 40th anniversary one. So we're gonna have all the links in the bio of the video so you guys could check out and see which one fits your needs. But they do have three different versions, which is really cool because they do have variations for you. Uh, and I like that about Tweeterhead as well. 
Now they only made 2,000 of these guys. This is about 18 inches and a half tall. So it's not a very big statue. It is a one fifth and it's very light too, which I absolutely love because it's not gonna, you know, uh, weigh down any of your displays or anything like that. So it's a very light statue, but man, she looks absolutely gorgeous. Now let's talk about Tila and let's talk about the base guys. You know, I am a sucker for bases and this base does not leave out any details. Now this is a Castle Grayskull base and she is going down into the dungeon to the Dwell of Souls, which I absolutely love. Now let's talk about this staircase. Now she's on top of the staircase, which I like because when you put this next to the other statues from that line, she is sitting a little higher, which I love because as you know, she is the captain of the guard. She's a warrior. She is the daughter of the man of arms and she is just standing here very stoic wielding her sword and her shield and she just looks very badass i really love that about this statue again these steps are really cool check this out there's a lot of patterns and a lot of details in this staircase these stone steps which really look good you're going to see some patterns here in the front and on the top some hieroglyphics and stuff some designs here i love the teeth going down into the dungeon it really adds that you know masters of the universe feel again this is paying homage to castle grayskull as you can see here you're going to see the stone right here coming down the side and you see this pillar here with what you see in the back of the statue that i'm super excited about because this is paying homage to the classic Grayskull playset, Castle Grayskull playset. Uh, and you're gonna see here this monster coming out with the tentacles. Now I love the paint applications as well because the eyeball right here is very glossy, right? It looks like very moist. And these tentacles, man, the details here, all these patterns, they're scaly and stuff. And you're gonna see these barbs coming out of the uh, tentacle here. I absolutely love that. Now I mentioned to you before, I know sometimes these statues have a lot of details that you wanna see. So I recommend putting a mirror in the back of this statue, particularly this one. So you can go ahead and see this monster coming out and you're gonna see the back of her shield and all the details behind her as well, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. But right off the back, man, this base is absolutely amazing. I really, really, really love this. I think they did an amazing job. The color stones, all that, the color applications, the teeth, all the cracks here, you could see like some of them were broken. You can see that this castle has been here for years and years. You're gonna see the stalactites down here on the bottom and it's a little bit glossy. So there's like moist and decay and stuff. You see the moss here on the bottom. I mean, they really paid a lot of attention to detail and I can't really seem to find anything wrong with this statue. Same thing with the merman. I mean, this looks absolutely amazing. And again, she's gorgeous and we haven't even gotten to her yet. We're just talking about the base here, guys. Again, these are very, very well priced. All of those links are gonna be in the bio of the video. This is great for your collection, very affordable. And the amount of details you see here, man, I think Tweeterhead is doing an amazing job. You're gonna see parts here of the castle here, this iron ring kind of here on this broken pillar. I mean, everything, every detail here I see, every time I turn this statue, you just see more and more things. They really paid mind to the details. They really executed very well the base of this statue. And I have to give it to Tweeterhead. I know you guys want us to do more Tweeterhead products. We've done the Green Lantern, we've done Merman and now Tila, and we're trying to get Tweeterhead on our live show. I know you guys asked for it, so we're working on that but this company is doing great and they're just getting better and better. And I absolutely love that. And I can appreciate that as not only a YouTuber, but as a fan, right? So if you're a Masters of the Universe fan, I mean, like I said before, Tweeterhead has it uh, definitely, you know, the best line of uh, Masters of the Universe lines. It's definitely coming from Tweeterhead. So good job there. Again, this base is amazing. And I absolutely love this Easter egg. egg. So let's start with, uh, let's continue on with this statue here. Now I love Tila. Let's talk about Tila herself. Now her pose is very historic. Like I said, she is a warrior. So she's there with her sword in hand. She has her shield. I love this sculpt. This is a fully sculpted statue. Uh, you know, I love the paint applications too, but as far as her sculpt, she looks very well. She's not too ripped. She's, she has muscle, right? Uh, because she's a warrior. So I like that. They didn't go overboard with that. Her porcelain skin, her legs look really good. Um, 
she just looks really really good she does look like a porcelain like almost doll but yet she's a warrior so they did a good job they mixed it very well it's not too much right uh very well uh done there now you're gonna see some uh of the mane here and the fur on the top of her boots her boots are armored as well the details on her boots look really really good you're gonna see a lot of different patterns here on her boots and her armor which i absolutely love now as we go up to her uh outfit here or her warrior armor uh that came out really good the white here on the armor looks good and you're gonna see all the gold right which you know resembles that warrior in her all this armor looks really good i think they did a good job with the placement and where they have it they didn't go overboard with it but man look at this shoulder uh the shoulder pad here you know protected by her armor i absolutely love that again captain of the royal guard you're gonna see her gauntlets here with a lot of details here as well and you're gonna see some gems here going down her uh waist belt right here uh going into her armor which i absolutely love as well now let's talk about her weapons. You're gonna see her sword right here, which is detailed as well. I really like that about this. It's a, it's a pretty big sword. I think they did a good job scaling this as well. And you're gonna see that the pattern continues with the gold armor here on the hilt of the sword. And you're gonna see those red ruby gems that continue again with her belt here. So I think they did a good job matching that uh, with the character as well. Now, the armor on her chest that kind of pops up here with the collar protecting her neck looks absolutely amazing as well. And then you're gonna get over here to the backside of her shield. Her shield is just full of details here. I love the colors that they picked for the shield. It's not too much and it does matches those rubies in the front, but they did a lot of details here for this shield and I could appreciate that as well. Her backside looks really good. It's not too overdone. And I love the mane up here that matches, you know, her boots and her wrist at the end of the, uh, of the gauntlets here. Her mane, the hair there, the strands, you could see them. They sculpted that very, very well. So you could see the pattern. It's kind of almost flowing. I love when statues show motion, even though they're stationary. And I think they did a good job with that. Now let's talk about the portrait here, guys. This portrait looks really good. Now I have the classic portrait on because I'm old school and just her face looks gorgeous. Her eyes are really pretty. You could tell that they try to make her look really good. There's really no uh, defects that I could see as far as the portrait. I think they're spot on. She's kind of giving you a stare. Uh, she looks very dangerous, but very pretty at the same time. Now this one has the updo, it's the classic updo. And the way they did the sculpt is really well because they have it looking like it has a bunch of strains and different strains of hair, which again, really is a good job with the sculpt to show that lifelike in the hair. And you're gonna see that warrior crown here, which looks really good. I think the placement on it looks really good. Now the basic version does come with an alternate uh, head sculpt. This is the modern one. She's rocking the ponytail and same thing. Her hair looks really good. And I love that option. Whether you're an old school Masters of the Universe fan or new school with the modern sculpt, you could go ahead and pick and choose which one you wanna display with your uh, Tila, just like Merman. He had the classic and the modern look. And I love this about Tweeterhead, man. They're giving you options. They're giving you great products at a great price. And man, I cannot find anything wrong with this statue. Again, the paint applications look good. She has, she's very smooth, her legs are smooth, her tone is really good, the colors are really good, they're not too crazy, and again, this base just really does it for me. Overall, a great statue, guys. Like I said, the Merman was really good, this Tila was really good, and I really wanna try to do more uh, with Tweeterhead because I think they're doing an amazing job uh, all the way around, but they are killing this Masters of the Universe line. So if you guys are looking to get a Masters of the Universe line, uh, you know, that's not a one-tenth scale or anything like that, this is amazing. They even have the life-size bust. That Skeletor life-size bust is just calling my name. I absolutely love that. One of my favorites. I wish I could get my hand on that one. But this Tila is absolutely amazing, guys. I don't know if you guys have this already, if you've been looking into it. But if you do or if you don't, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this statue, about Tweeterhead and their Masters of the Universe line. They are absolutely killing it. They just released some announcements with some new statues coming out. Uh, I love that they did uh, Skeletor on the Panther. I can't wait for that one. 
but this is an amazing job. Tweeterhead, kudos to you guys. You guys are doing great. Let us know in the comments. We're gonna have all the links in the bio of the video as always. And guys, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing and you can follow us on X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and don't forget to subscribe to Toy Quest 101. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys. Thank you.